Yo guys, what is going on? Matt here and welcome to episode number two of my Hockey Ultimate Team 16 series here on NHL 16. It is good to be back on Hut, my favorite Ultimate Team mode throughout all the EA Sports games and last time out we created our team, we played a game, we won it and we are 1-0 so far with our squad, the What's Wrong Tendy squad. And today we're going to be adding some new pieces to the team as well as playing some games. So before we get started, I want to add two key pieces. One being the left wing from the Chicago Blackhawks, Chris Versteeg. He's now on the Carolina Hurricanes, I believe, but he's going to provide a nice wing spot on the first line. And then on the other wing spot, right winger Joel Ward, 84 overall from the Sharks. And uh, you know what? I really don't know how he is not a rare gold card. He just really seems like he has the stats to be one, but he's not. So here's what our team looks like. We just have Versteeg, Cliche, and Ward on the first line. Then we got Ben Smith. We moved him down to the right wing spot on the second line with two bronze players. And then lines three and four are just straight up bronze players. So basically throughout the episode, we're just going to be improving our team and playing some games. On the defensive side of things, we have Eric Raba and Kundry, and then the rest are bronze. And then we do have a bronze goalie, Lee, who we are also looking to upgrade in this episode. So here we go. We're at home at the SAP Center in San Jose, California. Looking to improve to 2-0 on the season as we started off pretty well in our first game and hopefully we can continue that and bring it into the next game. So here we go in this one. First period action. We have it. He actually has it. He is a breakaway. He's taking it down and he is going to get stopped. So nice job there, but I put it in my own net. Really? Like, Lee just saved us there with a huge stop on the breakaway. And then we just destroyed all that by putting it in our own net. Not what I wanted to do there, but here's what we want to do. And that's a nice little pass out in front. And look who it is, Joe Ward, getting the first goal for this game after we just added him. And hopefully he can do more of that in the future. Joe Ward gets the goal. 1-1 here in the second. Just over 7.5 minutes left. He gets past the defense and rips it. A nice play by him. He just kind of swivel his ways, swivels his way in there and rips a shot. So really nice job there. And it is 2-1 him. We have a power play now in the second. And here's a nice move. Here's another nice move. I have no idea who this is, but he absolutely roofs it. Oh my goodness. Did you guys see that? Almost identical to Ben Smith's goal last episode, which was a sick one. And now we got another goal here. This time, it is Chris Versteeg. So we take the lead back-to-back -back goals. It's now 3-2, to two, and Ward will get the assist on that play. So later in the game, he has the power play. It actually just ended, and he's just going to come in similar to that other goal he had and just rip a shot. Honestly, guys, Lee really needs to be stopping these plays. So it's 3-3 here, and we're going to overtime. Less than a minute left. He has the puck, but we get it right back. We're sending it all the way up to Joel Ward, the newcomer. He's going to try to get around the defense. He's going to crash the net. A backhander, and he scores. Joel Ward gives us the 4-3 victory in game number two here in NHL Hockey Ultimate Team 16. So the newcomer, Joel Ward, gets the goal and makes us a 2-0 team through two games this season. So we get over 1,000 coins in that win. A really nice job there by Joel Ward and the whole team. Um, honestly though, I think we need an upgrade at goalie. I don't know if we're going to get it right away, but eventually we're going to get it. So we have four points. We're two points away from getting advanced to Division 9. And we're going to add another key piece. First line center. Here you go, Mike Fisher. I've used him in the past, and he is really, really good. Just love playing with him. And he'll fit right nicely in between Christopher Stieg and Joel Ward, which means Ben Smith now has a center with Cliche on line number two. So I really like that addition. Like I said, we'll probably have to upgrade the goalie spots. Um, later in the episode and then probably defense so here we go in Detroit very interesting game you guys are about to see so just uh, trying to become 3-0 here trying to do everything we can and we're here at the Joe against Swish and let's do this first period eight and a half minutes left getting past his defense easy goal this guy started off very very poorly and I, I had a feeling I was gonna win this game by a lot so we get a goal there one nothing that's Mike Fisher, newcomer, getting another goal just like Joel Ward did. In the second period, though, he's going to come back and just rip a shot. Lee really needs to have that one, but then again, he is a bronze player, so you don't really expect any much, anything much else because he is a bronze player. So RJ Umberger gets that goal. Later on in the game, 
I'm gonna try to cycle it out here from the corner of the boards. We get it out in front, and Mike Fisher has two. Joel Ward with a nice pass over to the middle where Fisher is waiting, and those two so far have some pretty good chemistry. Later on in the game, in the third period now, I have the 2-1 lead. He gets around my defense, makes me look silly, and ties the game up with a beautiful shot there. And now the game is tied up at 2, so I'm a little, little frustrated because I think I should be beating this guy. Derek Broussard gets the goal for him. Right after that, I give it right back to him on the faceoff. Bad play by me. He's going to take it in, go around the defense, and a couple of broken plays here, but he gets it, comes out in front, passes it over, and now he has the 3-2 lead. An unbelievable game, and now I am all of a sudden down by one. So I just have to score one more goal, right? Well, he has other plans. Literally the rest of the game, this guy took the puck behind the net and did not let me score. There's... Some things that really just tick me off in this game, and this is one of them. When people just don't have enough faith in their defense, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know what he was trying to do here. Obviously, he didn't want me to score, but do you really just not have enough faith in yourself that you can keep the lead? I don't know. So he ends up scoring another goal, in fact, makes it 4-2. I was really frustrated, and that's just one of the things that I just... I lose a lot of respect for people like that, and unfortunately, our winning streak is over. So we are now 2-1 in our season play and for the first time time ever actually we're not gonna get a thousand coins we're gonna get just under at 924 and now we'll have to move on with our two in one record still two points shy so we need a goaltender why not i know it's a little shark bias my favorite team is the sharks but we're gonna pick up martin jones here a solid pickup as he is the new starter for the sharks he just got a shutout last night and we're gonna put him in in front of brassar we took lee out and now he is our new starting goaltender so now we're facing somebody else from Detroit's Pablo El Magico, or El Magico, whatever you want to call it. And we are going to start this game out. He's going to bring it in, and he is going to score. So really not what we wanted to do to start off this game, is now we're losing 1-0, getting a little frustrated, maybe that being carried over from the last game. But we need to answer. Face off now. Time running out in the first. Joel Ward with a nice hit. He gets the puck. He's going to drive the net, pass it over, and Mike Fisher gets another one. His third goal in two games. Joel Ward with another assist on Fisher's goal. And those two, like I said earlier, just have really good chemistry. You see Ward here just gets the puck, goes around the defense, and gives it to Mike Fisher for the easy goal. Second period action now. Nice play by me, getting the stop by Martin Jones. But then a bad play by me, passing it right to his guy. And Anderson just puts that in. Really not a good play by me as he takes the lead now. I think I was just frustrated. This is literally right after I played the other game. And it's now 2-1. Dying seconds in the second, time running out, can we make the stop? No we can't. He takes the 3-1 to one lead, which really sucks because we were just a few seconds away from the intermission, but nevertheless we're down by two going into the third period as Renan Bork gets the goal and we're trying to battle back here. Down by two in the third period and that is a goal. Now we're down by one, an excellent job there as Fisher I believe got the assist on that and now we are, no McKenzie did, and now we're down by one. 3-2 game here in the third, trying to tie it up. We miss the net there, not a good job, but we're going to pass it right up front. Another shot, more shots, and finally we get it to go. And what do you know, we end up tying the game up at three. A nice job by me. Cliche gets the goal. I did not expect to come back and beat this guy because he was pretty good. Maybe I was making him look better than he was. But anyways, we go to overtime after we're tied up at three. He has a breakaway, and he finishes the game. So really not what we wanted to do right there as we lost that one. We do get one point, but overall just a little frustrated. Um, I guess technically I'm glad I got a point because really probably should have lost that game in regulation. But we'll take it as we will get 966 coins after this game. And our record is now going to be 2-1-1. One, and one. So now we'll have five points, one point away from that Division 9 promotion. And hopefully we can get that next episode. So moving on forward. That is it. Five points. Like I said, one point away from the Division 9 promotion. I really am enjoying myself on Hut. In fact, I've totally forgot about our redemption, our redeeming packs from playing Hockey Ultimate Team last year. So next episode is going to be 10 pack openings. That is right. I have 10 op and unopened packs that's really going to help our team out. And I can't wait to open them with you guys. So come back, leave a like. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.